Hi guys, welcome to my VMware tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about vSphere high availability. What this video will cover is what is high availability? Also, how to create a cluster enabled for high availability. How to add your hosts to a cluster. And finally, how does high availability function? So there are some prerequisites for this. You're going to need two ESXi hosts and a configured vCenter server. So what is high availability? High availability enables a cluster of ESXi hosts to work together so they can provide high levels of availability for virtual machines rather than just an ESXi host by itself. vSphere High Availability also provides organizations the ability to run their business critical applications with confidence. What does it do? In the event of physical server failure, affected virtual machines are automatically restarted on other production servers that have spare capacity. If in the case of an operating system failure, vSphere High Availability restarts the affected virtual machine on the same physical server. So now onto the tutorial. First you're going to want to open up VMware vSphere Client and log in with your details, these are mine. Once this has finished loading, I will have a running virtual machine on both of my ESXi hosts. These are going to be used for my example a bit later. First though, you're going to want to make a cluster. You can do this by right clicking, then clicking new cluster. This will prompt this menu, enter a name for whatever you want your cluster to be called. And then also make sure that you turn on the vSphere high availability setting. Also, for this next setting, I'm going to have 25% CPU and memory resources reserved as spare capacity. All the rest of the settings are default. Now, once you've finished creating the new cluster, you're going to want to drag your two ESXi hosts into it. Now, when you drag these into the new cluster, it will take around a minute. So, don't worry if it takes a little while. So now that that has finished, you're going to notice that you've got a new information box under the summary. This is just going to tell you some statistics about your high availability. It's also going to show you which host is master, as well as what VMs are protected, as well as your data stores. Now, for this example, I'm going to reboot my .10 ESXi host which has one VM attached to it. What this is going to force the VM to do is move over to the slave. The slave host is then going to turn into the master host. Now when the old master host is back online, it will now be a slave host. Now as you can see the new master is the dot 20 address and that still both of the VMs are protected. So now that the dot 10 ESXi host is back online, I'm going to show you what host the VMs are now connected to. As you can see the virtual machines are now both on the dot 20 address. This is because this is the new master. That wraps up this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Bye.